What's good everyone? It's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk and 23MJ88 over on Instagram, back with another video today. And for today, we're gonna to take a look at the Hope Diamond colorway of the Jordan Zion 2. All right, so just starting things off with the box for the Jordan Zion 2. These do say Zion right here, going down. And then right here, it does say Zion Williamson, Jumpman. And then it says Jordan Zion 2 on the box label, half blue and pink prime. And this is the Hope Diamond colorway. So we'll get right into the shoes and move the box out of the way. So as far as the details go on the Jordan Zion 2, starting at the back of the shoe, you do have a Jumpman and it says Air Strobel for the cushioning setup in the heel. And then moving your way over, you do have this kind of like galactic or laser print at the back of the shoe for the Hope Diamond. It's got some yellows, some pinks, some purples, some whites, some blues. So it's definitely a cool pattern, very 90s-esque in my opinion. And then on the medial side here, it says N-B-L-Y-Y-D-Y. -Y -Y. Not exactly sure what that's for. You have a Jumpman right here at the base of the medial side. And then again, moving your way to the lateral side on the Velcro, Velcro strap, you do have Zoom Air branding right here, which is definitely a nice touch. And then ZW for Zion Williamson. And then at the toe of the shoe, it does say Shock the World. And then moving your way up to the top of the shoe, it does say Zion running down the tongue in white. And then at the base of the shoe, you can see here, it does say Zion at the forefoot. And then it does have kind of some of that pattern peeking through at the bottom. And then as you can see here, the shoe is just ever so slightly decoupled. The heel and the forefoot is decoupled, so the traction pattern kind of splits. But as far as the details go on the Jordan Zion 2, that's kind of what you have on the shoe. So definitely an interesting take. And for me, I'm definitely liking all the details on this model. So as far as the materials go on the Jordan Zion 2, at the back of the shoe, you do kind of have this, it's almost like patent leather, but not quite. It's a synthetic material for sure. It's kind of shiny and it has all those colors as you can see, which is definitely a cool look. Definitely 90s-esque, like I said. And then you do have this, it's not quite white. It's almost like a bluish gray. Uh, this is a Nubuck material here, kind of running down the side of the shoe, all the way down to the eye stay here and then running down to this perforated portion and the Velcro strap itself is that Nubuck material as well. And you can definitely toss this Velcro strap inside like this. So when you're lacing the shoe up, if you wanna crank down these laces here in the forefoot, you can just tuck it away. And then when you're done and you wanna strap it up, there you go. And then moving your way down to the forefoot, you do have some nice mesh here, as you can see here. So it's definitely breathable, which is a nice touch. And then you have some more of that Nubuck running right at the toe. And then on the tongue, it's basically the same setup as the Jordan 1 tongue. So it's that nylon tongue, as you can see here. And then at the top of the tongue, you have some more of that shiny synthetic pattern here with a purple or blue Nubuck sitting in the middle. And then there is a really nice colorway coming out. It's kind of like a Raptors colorway. It's all purple with some black and I believe some red. Um, I think those are coming out later in July here. So definitely a nice colorway. I really like this colorway because you get a lot of different materials. And again, it's very 90s-esque as far as the look of the shoe and the overall materials you get. So I think Jordan Brand did a fantastic job kind of shifting from the materials with all those fuses on the ones over to the twos. You got some of those suede and new bucks. I think you're gonna get some leather colorways as well. So again, as far as the materials go on the Jordan Zion 2, I'm really enjoying it right off the bat. And I think Jordan Brand's gonna have a hit here with the Jordan Zion 2 as far as the materials go. So as far as the support features on the Jordan Zion 2, you do have that internal heel counter in the back of the shoe. It's very rigid, as you can see here. I, can, I can't really push it in at all. So there's a ton of support there. And then this is pretty much a mid cut. It's really not a high cut. So as far as the support goes, it is a mid cut shoe. You do have kind of these independent wings here with eyelets uh, with the laces running through. So again, if you really crank those down at the top, it's really gonna draw the heel of the shoe in around your foot 
and really draw your heel into the back of the shoe. So again, I think they have a ton of support in the back of the shoe, moving your way down. You do have that Velcro strap to offer some lateral support on lateral cuts. And then this rubber outsole, it does run up the side of the shoe a little bit. Like this is all rubber right here. So when you're sitting within this rubber cup outsole and you make lateral cuts, this is really gonna harness your foot in and prevent it from spilling over the side of the shoe, coupled with that Velcro strap here. So again, I think Jordan Brand did a fantastic job designing the shoe, making it functional as far as support goes, but not too restricting. And then right here, you can see there is a lateral outrigger and it's quite large actually. And then if you look at the bottom of the shoe, it's very much a wide and stable base and it's pretty flat as well. So I think Jordan Brand really has a hit here as far as the support features go with that flat and wide stable base with the outrigger, the Velcro strap, the rubber cup sole wrapping up, internal heel counter, and these wings right here where the laces run through. I think this is gonna be a very supportive shoe. And again, I would think one through five could play in the shoe because I think it's gonna offer some flexibility with those grooves right here and then the decoupled outsole. But again, I think Jordan Brand did a fantastic job as far as the support goes on the Jordan Zion 2. And then one last thing I wanted to mention as far as the support goes is I'll show it on the inside of the shoe, but there is a very large torsion bar on the inside of the shoe sitting directly under the air strobel. So again, that's offering a ton of torsional rigidity. Like I said, once I open the shoe up, I will show you on the inside that torsion bar. So again, a ton of support in the Jordan Zion 2. And then as far as the inside of the shoe here, you do have this insole here that Jordan Brand offers. It's just an ortholite insole, so really nothing special. You can kind of see the outline of that Zoom airbag in the forefoot here, which we'll get to in just a sec. But as far as the insole goes, it's really nothing special. It's very thin. It offers some nice step in comfort right off the bat, but after two or three wears, this is really gonna wear down and compact. So again, as far as the insole goes, really nothing special. It does say Zion there on the heel, but again, just an ortholite kind of regular insole in the Jordan Zion 2. And as far as the internals of the shoe, as you can see here, they do have some pretty beefy Achilles pillows. I'll see if I can throw some photos in here, but again, they're pretty large and I would say they're almost pretty dense as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these perform around your ankle. But again, it does offer some really large pillows in the heel. And then moving your way down inside the shoe, you do have, I would say about halfway through the shoe, you do have an air strobel unit. And that does differ from the Zion 1 where it had full length air strobel and then a four foot zoom airbag. For me, I wasn't a big fan of that setup because I really couldn't feel the zoom air at all. You could just feel the air strobel. So here they did stitch the strobel unit. I'll get some photos in there, but you can kind of see the strobel unit right there. And then right in the middle of the shoe, you can see the torsion bar as well, which offers a ton of torsional rigidity and support for the midfoot. And then I think I'm gonna have to throw some photos in here, but in the forefoot of the shoe, you do have a pretty large full length side to side zoom airbag. So that's gonna be nice as well as far as directly under your foot. You do have the forefoot zoom air with the air strobel in the heel. So as far as the cushioning setup, I think it's gonna offer a nice cushioning setup on court. Again, I haven't played with these yet as I recently had surgery. And then as far as the foam goes here in the back of the shoe, it does feel like a Phylon. Obviously it has that print pattern over top, but again, you have air strobel in the heel, zoom airbag in the forefoot. I think this is gonna be a pretty sweet setup. For me, I think I'm gonna enjoy it just a little bit better than the Jordan Zion ones. And then as far as the weight goes for the Jordan Zion 2, this is a US size 10 and a half, and these come in at 16.3 ounces. So again, it's not the lightest shoe out there, but considering all the tech and support that's in this shoe, I think it's not bad. And I think it's gonna perform pretty great on court. Definitely looking forward to getting these on court in the near future. And then as far as the fit goes, I have worn these around the house for about two or three hours so far. For me, they do fit true to size. If you're a wide footer, I do think that these are gonna be wide foot friendly. As you can see here, they're not overly narrow. So I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. The one thing I will say though, they do fit true to size lengthwise, like my toes right at the end of the shoe almost, but there is a stitch line right here at the toe where the new buck and the mesh meet on the inside. And my big toe is kind of rubbing against the stitch mark. And it kind of 
it's a weird effect because it kind of feels like the end of the shoe is right at that stitch line when in theory you actually have a bit more space where that new buck is so it's a little bit weird and i think it's you're gonna have to get used to it but i think once you break these in on court i think that feeling will go away but again as far as the fit goes this is a size 10 and a half and my toe is right near the end of the shoe but it's just kind of biting up against the stitch line on the inside so it was definitely a little bit weird for me but again if you're a wide fitter i think you can go true to size and you'll be okay with these and then as far as the traction goes it's kind of like a herringbone traction pattern kind of running vertical as you can see here um, and it runs basically full length with the zion logo in the middle i think this is a pretty aggressive traction pattern and for me i think they're going to perform great as far as the rubber compound i would say it's kind of like a medium strength rubber compound there's a little bit of movement nothing overly crazy so again i think you might be able to get away with these outdoors um, i guess time will tell i'm definitely going to bring these outdoors as well as indoors obviously to see how they perform but again it's a very wide stable base with that herringbone traction pattern running in a vertical pattern i think it's going to perform pretty good on court so that's going to do it for today's video as always if you guys can give me a follow on instagram at 23mj88 here over on YouTube at Sneaker Tech Talk. Thanks for watching the first look of the Jordan Zion 2. Again, I think Jordan brand has a hit on their hands, especially at that 130 American, 160 Canadian price tag. All the different materials with the suede, the new buck, kind of like that patent leather at the back, the mesh toe panel here. I think Jordan brand has really knocked it out of the park as far as the design of the Jordan Zion 2 and materials. There's a lot of colorways coming out shortly here. There's a purple pair. There's another white with a black heel pattern on the back of the shoe. Again, I think you can't go wrong if you pick these up, especially with that four foot zoom airbag, the air strobe back in the heel. And then again, all of the support features. There's really no shortage of support as Zion is a massive player. Again, I think Jordan brand knocked the design and materials out of the park. Stick around for the performance review in the next month or so. I just had surgery, so I'm not going to be able to get on court for a couple weeks here. But again, stick around mid to late August. I should have their performance review out of the Jordan Zion 2. Thanks for watching today's video, and until next time, peace.